Hello everyone, this is a CFD tutorial of laminar flow through a pipe using open foam. Continuing from our previous tutorial on the same problem in ANSYS Fluent, we will do this problem in open foam now. Unlike Fluent which is a paid software, open foam is a freeware. Generally people run open foam in Linux Ubuntu systems. Since I run a Windows OS, I am using Ubuntu through VirtualBox and post processing the results through ParaView for Windows. Let's get started with the tutorial video. Agenda is as follows. Converting the .msh file to open form format. Selecting the solver. Case setup. Running the case and plotting the residuals. Post processing using ParaView. Comparison with ANSYS Fluent results and analytical solution. The solver we will be using is simple form. It is a steady state incompressible flow solver. In open form, to create a case setup, we generally don't start from scratch. Instead, we will copy an existing tutorial case which comes with open form installation and modify it based on our problem. So to do that, I'll be going to computer opt open form tutorials incompressible simple form and pitch daily is the nearest similar case to our problem so i'll be copying this pitch daily case to our folder that is sf shared open form paste please note that sf shared is a common folder for my windows host os as well as my ubuntu guest os since i am running paraview for post processing from windows i need this folder to be accessible from Windows OS as well. I'll rename this file as laminar pipe flow tutorial. Yeah. From inside the SF shared folder, right click, open in terminal. We are now in the command terminal. So I'll just maximize it my mesh files are available in my mesh files folder i have to copy them to my case folder copy mesh files pipe 3d.msh is the name of my mesh file i have to copy to my case folder my case folder is open home cases and laminar pipe flow tutorial and inside that I will give a name to my mesh file. I will just give it as mesh.msh. Okay. It has been copied. Now we will navigate to our case folder. CD. Open form cases. Laminar. Pipe. Flow. Tutorial. Yeah. Now. We are in our case folder. You can see that uh, our case folder consists of zero constant mesh file system file. The first step is converting the .msh mesh file to a format suitable for open form. So what we will do is the command is fluent mesh to form. I will type fluent mesh and press tab fluent mesh to form and the name of the mesh file is Yeah, uh, our open form mesh has been created. You can see that the writing mesh to constant poly mesh is done. We will navigate to the constant poly mesh folder. CD constant if I list the files, you can see the poly mesh folder is available. I am going to the poly mesh folder and if I list it, uh, there are a lot of files what we are interested in is the boundary file boundary is a text file to open the text file i am using vim editor vim editor is not directly available in ubuntu you can install it so vim boundary yeah my boundary file is open you can see the three patches inlet outlet and the wall within the vim editor if we have to make changes 
press A. A means appending, that is, you can insert characters. Instead of caps, I will use small letters, inlet, outlet, wall. Okay. To come out of the editing option, I have to press escape. To save this file, I have to press colon W Q. Now, I will come back. Folders. Next step is we will edit the uh, transport properties file. It is available in the constant folder. So vim constant transport properties file. The only value that we are going to give is the kinematic viscosity value. To edit the value, press A. We are into the insert mode. I am now going to press 1.00. 481 10 power minus 6. Yeah, I am done with the editing. Now press escape key to save the file column WQ. The next thing is we will edit the turbulent properties file. It is available in Vim constant turbulent properties. Yeah. Press A to come into insert mode. We are running a laminar flow. So, our simulation type is laminar. Now, for the turbulence, we will switch it off by typing in off. Press escape to come out of insert mode. Press colon WQ to save the file. Now, we have to specify the boundary conditions. Boundary conditions are specified using the zero folder available here. You can see the folders available are zero, constant and system folder. The boundary conditions are specified through the zero folder. So we will go to the zero folder. Yeah. If I list the files, the base case pitch daily is a turbulent flow case. So we have lot of files. For laminar flow boundary condition, we only need the pressure and velocity boundary condition file. So we will remove the other files rm epsilon f k nu nu tilde omega and p2 okay we have wrongly typed in nu so we will remove nu t file rm nu t Now if we list the files, only the pressure and the velocity files are available. 